Oh no, not another shit review from PJ! You're watching Metal Detector with PJ. I'm your adequate host, the Rock God, and Metal Detector with PJ is the home of metal detecting in Australia. Oh, I got that out. We're doing a review today on the Fisher Research Labs F Pulse PI Pinpointer. Came out in 2018. I've had it for a while and it is kick ass. I'm going to run you over, talk about it quickly, run you over a couple of features, show you the programming. I'm going to do a couple of tests and then you can see a video on it out in the field. I'm here with my sidekick. Let's get the video started. I'm going to quickly run you over it. On the screen is a few things that you can read while I'm talking in case I forget to tell you about it. Straight away, one button operation. I love that. That is awesome. Easier to press than the MI4. I'm not going to talk too much about the MI4 because I'm going to do a comparison video later. Straight away, measurement scale, inches down there, centimeters down there. That is brilliant. Ribbed hand grip for his or her pleasure. Love it. This is Fisher Red. That's the color of it. And the Technetics brand, which is the same thing as a green one. And Fisher Research Labs is the umbrella of Technetics, Bounty Hunter, made in America. This pinpointer came out in 2018. Lanyard. Waterproof seal for your batteries. It takes AA batteries. One thing about this machine, you've got to be a true metal detectorist because if you're going to open it out in the field, you need to carry a penny with you. I bet you didn't think of that. Buzz, it's well built. It's a very well built pinpointer. Your spring and your silicon o-ring here and even in the manual it tells you just to lube that up. I know you've all got some lube. Lube it up every now and then to maintain a nice tightness. I've got the Duracells in there, the ultra powers. The alkaline batteries last for 25 hours. The lithium batteries last 50 hours and your rechargeables, they last 15 to 20. So you just use a coin to tighten it up. Great build quality, great build quality. Lighter than the macro, the macro is too big, the MI4 is too chunky and crap. No, it's all right, settle down. That's another video. And your light. It's vibrate and sound. I'm going to show you how to get in there and change that. It's really easy, but it's got a light. Check out the LED, Jody. When it's off, just hold it down and you can change the brightness. Check this out. You just hold down the button and there it goes. Beeping and now it's going to go through the through that. It's getting darker, brighter to darker, darker to brighter. So that's pretty cool. It's a one button turn on and off real easy. Bang. So the one button operation. And it's just easier to go through than the MI4. It really is. Even idiots like me can learn it. So while it's off, you hold that down and you bring up your light. Your light fades in and out, different colors. 20, 20 light settings to choose from. Oh, another good thing with this machine. If you leave it on accidentally in your finds bag, like me and my mates always do because we're on the plugs or we're drunk, it just turns itself off in 30 minutes. So that's great. They thought about, they thought about that. And another great thing I love about this machine, the whole barrels, the conductor, the whole barrel emits it's uh the metal detector not just the 360 point it is a 360 point but also the whole barrel does so if you've lost something you can quickly run it across the ground on an oval or whatever and find your target it's really good it's so easy to use much it's the easiest pin corner i've used out of all of them okay it's waterproof waterproof speaker right here and i've gone under the water with it you can hear it it's fine after you've been underwater with it shake it out or even just leave it upside down for a while just leave it upside down to get it out the water can sit in there and you want the thing to last as long as you can it costs around 250 dollars it competes with your macros and your other pulse machines in that price range like your mi4s okay you just want to quickly get in there and change the sensitivity level easy as when it's on there it's ready to go when it's on, just hold the button down, just like your other machines. There we go. Telephone ring. Now I'm in option one. That's the strongest setting. Now that's just noise. That's just noise. That's the strongest setting, just noise. Now it's just vibrate. Vibrate two. Vibrate maximum strength. Vibrate and ring. There we go. So now I'm in vibrate and ring. It's that easy. Also, if it's, I know what you're thinking, oh no, it's a bloody PI 
pinpoint, oh, it's going to interfere with my VLFs, don't stress. Hold that button down until it goes in past the ring mode. Make that telephone ring, just keep it down. It will go into programs mode two, and then you've got 16 frequencies to go through if it's interfering with your machines. But don't stress, I've been out there with the 800, 900 in the Manticore, didn't interfere with any of my friends' machines. It didn't, it really didn't. Now, it's a pulse machine, it's going to, it's going to wig out, it's going to false out. You're going to need to ground it and press the button. I'm going to show you that. It's really easy, so don't freak out. It's like the MI4. It will. It's not too bad. It only did a few times to me. Oh, and it performs great on the beach. I was out on the beach half the day, and only three or four times it um, falsed out. And all you do is put it against the sand and press the button. Righto, let's do some tests. You know my videos, I'll do those stupid air tests, and everyone's in the comments, ah, oh, your air test PJ, yeah. We got real tests. I got dirt, no, it's not dirt, it's soil. Dirt is soil without microbes. I got actual garden soil, three inches, compacted down. I got beach sand. We're doing some real tests, let's go. Here we go, a penny. A penny underneath there, right there, you can see it. One, two, three inches down, here we go. Turn it on with the quick turn on, just tap it. That's what I love about it, it's just, it's a good machine if you're a fence jumper and you're trespassing into schools and whatnot. And you can just play with that programming so it's just on vibrate. You've got a light, you can make it dull. You can turn the brightness down. It's light, here we go. So I'm on the maximum. And see it's falsing out, it's falsing out. So all you do is put it to the soil. Bang. What that's doing is discriminating all the mineralization in the soil. Look at that, here we go, three inches right on top of the coin. Boom. You ready? So we're three inches, three inches right above the soil, above the coin. No sweat, no sweat. I'm telling you, I've seen videos with this thing on YouTube, destroying the MI4, destroying the Garrett Carrot, destroying the macro. It wasn't even close. You know the Yankees always make crazy shit? Shout out to the American viewers. Look at that. It's just punching hard. I could probably go four inches. And let me try a bit higher. Nah, three and a half. Nah, three inches. I am pushing it tight against the soil. But that's three inches, no dramas. Right, now on the beach sand, we have a ring. Right there. Right there. Here we go. There's three inches, I had to dig down a little bit. Just had to dig down. Boom, I'm right on top. So it's a bit under three inches. I will not lie to you. Because that's the three inches there. And I'm just above it. So like I said, I was, when I use this thing, I'm punching coins out and jewellery, two to three inches, no dramas. It's ultra powerful. You will enjoy it. Look, if you can get one of these second hand for $150 down to $80, between $80 and $150, I recommend you do it. I reckon you, you recommend you do it. So when it falses out, if it falses out, because it's a powerful machine, it will false out. All you have to do is put it to the soil and tap that button and that'll cancel out the mineralization. Boom. If that doesn't work, if that doesn't work, another thing you can do is put it to the soil. If it's extreme, extreme falsing, extreme uh, mineralization in the soil and just put it to the soil and tap, quick tap and that doesn't work, you turn it on while pushing against the soil like so. Push it against it and turn it on. And then that will work. I promise you. I promise you. It has not failed me yet. So check them out.
the Fisher Research Labs F Pulse. Now, also, I want to show you is this. Don't forget the giveaway. Don't forget the giveaway. You've got to be subscribed to Metal Detecting with PJ. This is the detecting pal. It goes over here. It's like a harness, connects to your control box off your detector, takes the weight off your wrist, hand, and arm. Then you can detect longer. We're all getting old. Australia only. So if you're Australian, that increases your chances to win, doesn't it? it increases your chances. That's from Gold Rat Metal Detectors at Mount Cravat. You've got to be subscribed, right? Go back a couple of weeks ago, you'll see my video, the 4K subscriber giveaway. Find that video, go on there and comment Rock God. That's all you got to do. I can't do it for you. And also Tiger Stainless Steel, right? You know the premium diggers in Australia. The primo stuff, the Tiger Sabre Tooth. He's giving that away. Grip tape, painted stickers, come on. Also, we got a Fence Jumpers Facebook group. I don't do Facebook, but I do the Facebook group Fence Jumpers to help build the, the YouTube channel. And it's a place we can all kick it and hang. They're all trespassers, they're all funny. They're funny as, man. They, they're the best people. It's sort of become like a bit of a family. And I just love the Fence Jumpers. And we lost one of the oldest Fence Jumpers. She passed away, even doing a silly little rap at the end of this video and dedicated it to Barb. And we just, we just all love each other on there, get in there. If any, there's any dickheads in there, we just boot them. No Karens. Check out my Karen videos. Yeah, and then this is here. And then you just film this person because I'm going to put a voice going, Oh no, PJ's doing another shit pinpointer review. Fence jumping them buckheads, aren't we, Connor? Yeah. Got my nephew with me, Connor. He runs the place, don't you, bud? We're going to give the F pulse. I'm going to show you what the F pulse is like. Give you a quick demo. You've just seen the review. What are we hitting in old school? Yeah. School's been here since 18... I think 85. 85. My well, crack research team just told you. We've got Jamie here. So, let's get into it. So I got the first target. Just show you the ease of the F-Pulse. <laughs> Oh, it's in the wall. Fuck's sake. That's fucking awesome. It's in the wall. Straight away. Straight away onto it. Powerful pinpointer. And there we go. Silver coin. Silver treasure, bruh. Straight away. First silver on the F pulse. Picked it up easy, look the distance. And then. It's all happening on the school level. What I love about this machine, you just press it quickly. It's a good quick turn on. Not like the MI4, you've got to hold it down for a bit. It's just real quick. You want a quick, you want a pinpointer that turns on quick, because when you're jumping fences and doing trespassing jobs, you don't be fucking around. Straight onto it. What I'm also looking for with this machine is any falsing. Any overloading or any falsing because it's a PI machine and it will false on you because it's so powerful. As you can see, silence. Feels good in the hand. The vibration's good. It's just easy to use in the MI4, it really is. Look at that, straight on. That's deep too. That's deep. It's a couple of inches. I'm going to scratch it. There it is. That was two and a half inches deep. See what I like about the F-Pulse as well? The whole barrel works as a, as a detector, not just the point. So if you've lost some jewellery and you need to find it quickly, you can use, your, you can use the F-Pulse like this. And you can quickly find it. Oh, there it is. Bang. Oh! Oh! When you come to these towns, always get a local who knows the schools. Always helps. Here we go. 
It's all good, Jamie. Tracy gave me permission on this one. It's all good. Yeah, Getting Connor addicted to metal detecting, eh, Connor? And he's on the F pulse. And what a place to learn to metal detect. A school. A school's a really good place because there's so many targets. And we just find them pocket money. On it, Connor, on the F pulse. Look. Look at that. Connor's straight on. Yeah, get it, baby. Nice up close so they can see the pinpoint in action. Up close. Got it. Two bucks. Yes. This one goes out to Barbara Pemmen. We lost the oldest fence jumper member a while back. We love you, Barb. Unfortunately, she's gone, but never forgotten. Never. This one goes out to her. It's just a little quick verse. What's up, Johnny? All these metal detectors talking like they're tough dudes I just dropped a vid on YouTube Got 2,000 views Haters in my biz bra I'm telling you That's nothing new Please stop talking about silvers You only found a few YouTube starting to pay I'm trying to get out of debt I hit three schools yesterday Made sure there's nothing left nothing Fence left. jumper hoodie on Cause you know That's my crew I've been running the scene for four years Don't know how to lose yeah. And the council knows us Knows us Groundsmen's can blow us. Blow us on the weekends we go hard there's only a few swingers that i trust come on and the council knows us they know us groundsmen can blow us blow us on the weekends we go hard go hard there's up. only a few swingers that i trust come on that's right you know we go hard on weekends with the fence jumpers baby you know that come on shout out to the sponsors shout out to the fence jumpers